Good morning. So today we're going to go over how to enable taps on both iOS and Android. On our iPhone, first we're going to go over to settings, scroll down to accessibility, touch, assistive touch. We're going to turn on assistive touch. Next, we're going to click on editing the top menu and we're going to click one of the options here and we're going to select tap for it. I've already selected tap here. So we'll go ahead and test this out. Tap is up at the top and you'll see I now have a cursor in this application. Just note when you do have tap on, it does make it hard to do some gesture, but we can use our gesture to go home. And you might have noticed that the cursor has now gone away. That's because you have to enable the cursor every time you move to a new application in the home screen. Safari is also a new application, so we have to enable the cursor again. Sometimes in your application, especially in React Native, you might need to enable this cursor multiple times to see where you're going with this. But that's how you do it on iOS. Now moving on to Android, we're gonna be using this on the Pixel 4 running Android 11. I've already enabled developer options. So we're just gonna go over to system, advanced, developer options, and we're gonna scroll about halfway down until we get to the input section. On the input section here, we're gonna enable pointer location because it gives us more information and it will actually show the direction and duration of the tap or scroll. Show taps doesn't do nearly as much. You can see here, I'm able to basically view the coordinates and where the cursor went whenever it was being interacted with. This is especially useful when trying to diagnose like what problems a automated testing framework might be having with touching the screen. And that's how you enable taps on Android. Thanks for watching and have a good day.